It's all about you, Molly. It's beautiful, you girl. Hello, everyone. This is the busy, busy. <laughs> Welcome to the BG Diary channel. So please subscribe so we can have 1,000 subscribers. My mommy's making panisal and then my mommy cover with a rolling pin. Subscribe here from BG Diary. Bye bye. This is the Busy Diary channel and today I'm going to discuss about uh, assessment for kids with special needs. Now, my, my video last time, my video last time was about ADHD and autism. Now, I just want to, this is actually a, a second video uh, or follow-up video on that. Ano nga ba ang nangyayari tuwing assessment na isang batang special kid? A special kid and kid with special needs so assessment is uh, on our case and my experience uh, ang ginawa sa amin is uh, nagkaroon kami ng three assessments which took place dalawa took, which took place here in uh, Dubai and one the other one was in the Philippines so after my check or mapansin na my problem ang isang bata Ano ang susunod na gagawin? So, in our case, this is, this is what happened. Uh, sa school, napansin ang sped teacher na may uh, certain na behavior sa anak ko. So, what happens next? Uh, para magkaroon ng therapy, kasi hindi mo na po ilalagay o didiretsyo ng therapy ang bata, there is an assessment muna. Uh, assessment through a psychologist, assessment through a doctor, or through a specialist. Now, sa case namin, uh, the school gave us a list of uh, centers which are uh, which are specialist or sila yung uh, sila yung uh, may alam or expertise para ting sa kids with special needs. So what I did dito kasi uh, sa Middle East mostly particularly in UAE all expatriates have uh, insurance cards, health cards. So for us, uh, covered, uh, yung anak ko is under my insurance before. So first is kung my insurance, check with your insurance provider if covered yung cost ng assessment or therapy. Second, yung check ko sa insurance na hindi covered. So what I did, I went through the list ng centers na binigay call them one by one, send an email inquiry, and check kung magkano yung fees. Kasi kailangan po natin malaman ang babayaran or budget natin. So, nung na-list down ko kung saan yung malapit, sa bahay, alin yung uh, uh, center na may mura, na budget eh, na pasok sa budget, doon kami nagpunta. So, I found uh, one which uh, suits our budget. So we went there, and while on our way, you have uh, we prepared my kid. You have to prepare your kid emotionally and physically. So, what we did is we 
told uh, me and my husband told my son na we're going to a to his friend, his dad's friend. So para hindi mo mukhang stranger yung doctor or therapist sa anak niyo. If possible. Kasi kay do sa anak ko uh, if you tell him na friend mo yung isang tao, hindi siya ganun ka aloof o hindi awkward yung pakikitungo niya doon sa tao. So when we were there, first of course you'll fill up uh, paper medical application medical form or patient's form with your basic basic information now what happens hindi kagad iaassess ang bata kakausapin muna ang parents so the 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 doctor uh, spoke to us it was i think around 30 minutes to 1 hour so tinanong una paano niyo na paano niyo nalaman yung center nila who referred them, and then uh, paano nyo nalaman na yung anak nyo or yung kid ay may ano, may, may problema. Then second is uh, pregnancy. Tatanangin ang pregnancy nyo. Was there a problem during pregnancy? Uh, nahirapan ba? Are there certain medications? Uh, is it through a normal delivery or cesarean delivery? Is it premature? How many weeks? What was your diet during your pregnancy? So on and so forth. So you have to be honest. Be honest. And then, magtatanong na sila doon sa bata. Kasama namin yung anak ko habang kinakausap ko. It's a room na kayo lang nandun. Pero puno siya ng uh, toys. Kasi for yun yung assessment room ng kids. So, tinanong, uh, does your son have this behavior? Pag tinatawag niya yung pangalan niya, nagre-respond ba agad? Or kailangan na three times, four times pa bago mag-respond ang bata pag tinawag niya yung name niya? Next is, does he flap like this? Para ba siyang ibon na nagpa-flap ng wings? Uh, does he have eye contact pag kinakausap? Uh, does he recognize numbers, alphabets, and colors? So, tatanang yun. Tatanang yun. So, we answered all the questions uh, truthfully and honestly and ano yung napapansin na yung behavior ng bata. So, after that, yung matapos na, iiwanan po yung bata sa loob ng assessment room with the doctor or with the specialist. So, of course, clingy ang bata. Iiyak. But since sa amin, sinabi namin na he's not a stranger, he's his dad's friend. So, kahit pa paano, medyo Calmado. So we told him, uh, you just play and talk to, to your daddy's friend, to daddy's friend. So niwan na, niwan na namin sila. Usually po ang assessment, based experience namin, tatlong beses kami na-assess. Uh, Nabot po ng isang oras. Yun yung first assessment namin dito. The second assessment was uh, still Dubai. Sa Dubai, may pangalawa may assessment, pero yung talagang pangalawa na take place is sa Pilipinas, nung inuwi namin siya for therapy. So, after that, oh, nakikinig kami habang iniwan namin, nakikinig kami. Marinig mo kasi. Naglalaro yung bata, narinig ko lang. Parang naglalaro yung anak ko, tapos nagsasalita, kinakausa, marinig mo yung anong toys. Then after noon, after an hour, 45 minutes to one hour, uh, Sinabi sa amin yung findings. Sabi nung una ng doktor na yun is, uh, it's not autism. Uh, parang nasa gitna siya, ADHD and autism. Pero more on ADHD, light ADHD kasi he has eye contact kahit pa paano. He responds when uh, tinatawag. Hindi naman umabot ng maraming beses para tawagin mo. And then he recognizes uh, Letters, colors, the alphabet. He plays. Hindi naman weird. Uh, of course, mayroon ibang weird na movements. Like, yung suklay lang. Ganyan. 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 She's fascinated with trains and buses. Kasi trains mabilis. Zoom, zoom, ganun. So, may something about lines. Pero hindi gumagaling na ako sa mga may ikot na, pa, ba, na bagay. Hindi naman siya interested. But, so, that took place yun yung assessment. So, yung fee ng therapy na yung sunod na pag-uusapan is that yung after assessment, they'll offer, they'll give you the program na kung ano yung program para sa bata. It was a bit costly 
hindi naman po kami mapera. <laughs> hindi rin covered na insurance. So, plan B. What should we do? Bring the kid to Philippines. Masakit bilang nanay, bilang magulang, mahiwalay sa anak mo. Kasi since birth, since pin nagbuntis, hindi sa akin, hiwalay ang anak ko. And he was only around uh, four, five years old nung nagpaasa. So, next plan was bring him to Philippines. So, to make the story short, puta kami Pilipinas, umuwi, inassess nung family doctor namin. Which, he is a uh, pediatrician. Pero since may anak din siyang uh, may ADHD din, nag-aral siya. So, sa kanya, in si Zab. Of course, alam niya yung family history. So, during the assessment, narinig lang namin ng mami ko na parang binabato ng anak ko yung bola. Ang nakita ko lang doon, usually lagi pare pares maraming toys. Tapos merong ball, meron yung blocks of letters, alphabets, numbers, colors, tapos pinagsulat siya. Good thing he knows how to write and he's good in reading. Uh, three years old, doon ko na-discover na, na nagbabasa na siya ng derecho. Either Tagalog or English yan, straight, nagbabasa niya. Uh, Nalaman ko lang nung sinama ko siya minsan sa office. He reads them aloud perfectly. So, Philippines ang nangyari. Since hindi costly sa Philippines, mas panatag ka na nasa Pilipinas sa bansa mo. And family doctor. Nag-recommend siya ng mga uh, therapist na kaya niya. Siya rin, pwede niyang gawin. But due to busy and tight schedule, uh, konti lang yung para nakuha namin araw. And, ang um, pinakamasakla pa nun is, he passed away. So, before that, kasi nagkakasakit na rin yung asawa niya. So, we opted for another. Good thing at salamat sa Diyos. Meron isang, uh, parang teacher, psychologist, slash therapist, dun lang malapit sa bahay namin sa Manila. So, dun ko siya in-enroll. And I only paid around 5 to 6,000 pesos monthly. And nandun yung anak ko around 4 months sa Philippines. Hindi wala namin for 4 months. And salamat sa Diyos dahil yung binilit namin siya dito after 4 months. Which we decided din na namin kaya kasi na mahiwalay siya. And there were developments. Uh, binilit namin siya sa Philippines. But, I will make another video about that during the course of therapy. Ano ang dapat gawin ng magulang? Ano ang dapat yung gawin? Pag nandun na sa stage ng therapy, nandun man kayo sa pili ng anak niyo or wala. There is some understanding na kailangan natin wala kang bilang magulang. At yung mga kasama natin sa bahay na nakakasama at nakakahalubili ng bata. So, the third assessment na nandito kami, uh, nalafer lang ng amo ng husband ko because he wa she wanted to help. So we went for another one. It was free. Free. So nagpunta kami doon. Same lang. Questions and then wala naman napansin sa anak ko. Siguro din malaki na yung anak ko at alam niya, mm, assessment na naman to. Parang feel siya marami na naman gagawin. So sabi niya wala naman something. Konting hyper lang. Hyperactivity. Parang wala lang focus masyado. Uh, kumaga, madaling madivert. Which is yung talaga. Mostly for ADHD and autism. Basta da divert yung yung isip nila, nabubor agad. If they're, for example, if they're sitting for a long time, hindi pa pa upo usually ng ano yan, five minutes, tatayo yan, maghahanap ka ng place or thing na magagawa. Kaya sabi ko, acceptance and patience. You have to have pa you have to be patient pag may ganun kayong anak. And always humingi ng awa at tulong sa Diyos sa buong may kapal. You know. Till my next video, I'll discuss about the therapy and on how to handle uh, the program bilang magulang. Kasi hindi lang naman therapy ang nangyari. Mayroon pang occupational therapy after nun. So, iba yun. Iba yun sa therapy ni mismong program to let your kids develop and teach them how to be at least a bit independent. Iba ang occupational therapy. It's a bit something na fun side. So, till my next video, please Click and subscribe for more videos. Salamat! Kayo na pong bahala. Hope you like my videos uh, at this time. And hope nakatulong ako ng konti sa mga parents. Salamat po!